to fly a kite, play a little softball, right? Right. Get outside <laughs> and enjoy if you can. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, climate advocates in Pennsylvania's state capital are rallying to raise awareness about global warming and the state's role in energy production. Erie News Now state capital correspondent Brendan Scanlon joins us live to break down their message and response from the Republicans. Good evening, Brendan. Good evening, Mike and Eva. Yeah, before today's rally, climate advocates delivered a letter with over 3,000 signatures to the Department of General Services. In that letter, they call on the department to make what's now a temporary physical reminder a permanent fixture here at the state capitol. We all need to face this ticking clock every day. According to advocates, the climate clock in the east wing of the state capitol serves as a countdown to a deadline of planetary global warming rising above 1.5 degrees Celsius. Below the countdown is the percentage of energy produced from renewables, which organizers say has the potential to slow the countdown. The six-foot clock was installed in June, and the Department of General Services agreed it could remain on display through November. But as time runs out for the climate clock, advocates say time is also running out for the planet. The clock is ticking and we are running out of time. Advocates from the Better Path Coalition and the Pennsylvania Climate Convergence are now calling on general services to make the clock a permanent fixture. We all need reminders from time to time. They say the highly trafficked area of the Capitol is a prime location for their target audience. Because our legislators are making decisions that will not only shape the future of the state of Pennsylvania, but the entire planet. Shouldn't this clock remain to serve and remind us that our emissions harm those beyond our borders and extend far and wide. Regardless of the climate clock's fate in the capital, advocates say their fight will continue. It's a survival issue, an economic issue, and most deeply a moral issue. And we reached out to the Department of General Services for two things. So first, we wanted to see whether or not they plan to keep that climate clock there at the, um, in the east wing of the state capitol. And two, we wanted to see how much it costs uh, to run 24-7. We have not yet heard back from the department, uh, but if or when we do, we'll be sure to uh, update you with the latest. We also heard from Republicans uh, who told us that Pennsylvanians are suffering from Democratic policies that target domestic energy production. They say that they're increasing energy costs for residents, many of whom may be struggling to pay that heating bill uh, as we approach that colder weather. Reporting live at the state capitol for Erie News Now, I'm Brendan Scanland. Mike and Eva, back to you.